Hello everyone, so hope you guys are doing great. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually do generative AI using Flux. And uh, I mean, Flux has been uh, doing a lot of buzz lately, uh, especially around stable diffusion and how uh, many of the people are moving away from stable diffusion. And they say that Flux is the accuracy and the quality of Flux is way higher than stable diffusion. Obviously, Flux is in its uh, earlier stages, so it's a lot more heavier and it will, it may be a lot much uh, heavier on your overall hardware of the system but we are going to see how to run flux on comp ui and we will look at uh, what sort of hardware requirements are we looking for flux so let's get on with the video so first i'm going to show you how to actually install flux on your system and obviously how to download the models for flux okay so let's go on with the video okay so let me just minimize myself here okay so let's open up your comfy ui okay so i have comfy ui portable installed so i have this workflow pre-made so what you are going to do i'm going to attach the workflow json file in my description of this youtube video so you can just open up that workflow and just uh, copy that workflow to the your comfy ui and where then you can just go to manager and just click on install missing custom nodes and if you don't know how to install manager uh, in this youtube video channel uh, uh there is a video where uh where one of my friends shows you how to install the comfy ui manager okay so now let's move on to the overall the layout of how the flux uh, uh, the flux model works so first of all i have the diffusion model so what we are going to do is we are going to download this flux one dev dot safe tensor so how what are we going to do just type in flux one dev okay and the first link that opens up open it up and it's a hugging face link and just go to files and revisions version sorry and you can see down here this one flux one dev dot save tensor so just download it and after you have downloaded what you're going to do is you're going to open up your comfy ui manager i have it here on my desktop so you're going to open it and inside your comfy ui folder you will see that there is a, a models folder go to the models folder and then go to uh checkpoints no not not checkpoint sorry but uh, you have to go to unit sorry so when you go to unit you will paste uh, your flux fund uh, dev dot save tensor here okay and just refresh the comfy uh, just refresh this workflow and you will see it here okay you have to update your comfy ui okay so if your comfy ui is not updated to the latest version then flux will not install properly so okay so to uh, actually update comfy what you can do is you can just click on manager and here you will have the option of fetch updates okay so fetch updates do the fetch updates and then do update comfy ui and then what you're going to do is you're going to just copy this workflow to your comfy ui and then you can just go to manager and and click on install missing custom nodes okay that's it it's as simple as that okay so let's look at the workflow a little bit okay so first we have the load diffusion model where we are going to load our flux fund diffusion model then we have our dual clip loader so you are going to keep the configuration as it is uh, in this workflow and then you are just going to give a little bit of positive prompt that you want the image uh, you want for your image okay now flux dev and flux schnell models don't have a negative prompt okay so a little bit drawback on these models but flux has other models where you can actually do the negative prompting as well so here you can see that i don't have any negative prompts i only have the positive prompts so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to okay let's keep all of these uh, settings uh, the way they are so i'm running uh, this model on my cpu currently so the width and height of my uh, overall overall image is very small because i want it to generate very fast and uh, with this width and height it takes about uh, i think two to three minutes to generate uh, and let's just do the q prompt here okay and uh, let's just click on q prompt and you can see that it's loading up the flux one dev dot save tensor file okay so currently we can see that our uh, memory is almost completely filled up so it's taking about whole 64 gb on idle my cpu takes only about i would say 14 or 11 gigs on idle so it's taking about 40 to 50 gigs of memory with this flux model i mean it's pretty it's pretty taxing on your computer if you uh, i have a lot of cores on my cpu so my my system is a little bit better compared to the standalone uh, gaming stations or something like that uh, because it has a lot of cores and uh, the more cores you have the faster your ai will run 
but the thing is that gpus uh, obviously gpus are still better than this there are other models like the flux na4 model uh, which will require uh, lower vram as compared to this flux i will upload the video of that later on and i will show you how to use that too okay so let's just wait for it i have let me just show you the image that was already pre-made i have already uh, ran this workflow before Obviously, the image is very low resolution image because uh, obviously I I only did about 20 steps for this image and obviously it's a 256 by 256 image but for what it is and for what it is worth it looks pretty good. Uh, in only 10 steps I think this image looks really good. I mean for uh, sorry 20 steps. For 20 steps this image is very good. Uh, I mean st uh, stable diffusion is mm, you require a, a minimum of like 30 steps to generate a good image stable diffusion. So, okay, so this was the introduction to Flux uh, and uh, do generate your images and uh, tell me in the comments uh, how were your images and how did you like the quality of Flux, okay? I will, again, I will attach the workflow in my GitHub repository. Uh, so you can download the workflow.json file and attach it to your comfy UI and your work will be done. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.